In this video, we're going to talk about integration by parts, which is one of the more powerful things you learn in the second semester as far as a tool to find the antiderivative of a certain function. So it's kind of like the product rule for derivatives. We're looking for a product rule for antiderivatives. So this is really our goal. We want to be able to take the antiderivative of something in the form of u dv. Now I know if this was u du, it'd just be one half u squared plus some constant. But we need some sort of product. And when we're doing these problems, we kind of want it where whatever you choose dv to be, you have to be able to take an antiderivative. You have to be able to get to v. But we'll look at it in some of the later videos in this section. And the section's also broken up into a bunch of little tiny videos. Um, due to when I was making those originally, it was something to do with file size. So there's going to be four videos in this section, but each one is short. And each one kind of handles a different type of problem. But this video is all about the why and where the formula comes from. So we're going to start with the product rule. So we're going to take the derivative uh, in terms of u and v. So when we do this, it's more of the differential, but this is the form that you're a little bit more used to. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to go with this and u, and then we're just going to write it as dv. So it's more of the differential, the ddx part, just kind of for use. So this would be u times the derivative of v. You could use v prime, but we want it to look like this. So u dv plus you know, v du. Well, actually, let's write that over here. So this is going to be equal to u dv plus v du, just a product rule. And then what we want to do is we want to get at the integral of this. So we're going to integrate both sides. And we'll do each of these parts separately. Now, this is our second fundamental theorem of calculus saying that we're just going to get the dx, the derivative, and the antiderivative are going to cancel out, and we're going to get uv equaling to, well, the integral of u dv plus the integral of v du. And then all we do is we solve for this. So the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. And that's the formula that we're coming up with. So when we do these problems, there's a whole lot of examples in the other videos. You have to pick a u, you have to pick a dv, and then you apply this formula here. You'd multiply u times v, which means you'll have to take the antiderivative of whatever v is, because you're starting with a dv, and then minus the integral of v, so the antiderivative of your dv, times the derivative of whatever u you picked. So this is where the formula comes from. Other than that, you have to be able to use it in the other videos. So have fun.